There's always more to things than you think. Or sometimes the internet, you know, people go to YouTube, they go to little Google, and they think, like, the information's out there. When some bozo, bozo, um, makes a video or makes an internet forum, which internet forums are kind of dead, by the way. Alright, so, uh, back to this thing. I got uh, a couple spare spark plugs for this thing, because why not? You should always have a spare spark plug. Same like I bought one for this and the backpack blower and whatever. Alright, so we wind up getting this thing. NGK, in there now is a Torch. Torch is a Chinese brand spark plug. It's a F7TC. No resistor. Alright, so NGK makes a lot of spark plugs. BP6ES. Should have got a BP7ES. It's it's one, um, NGK is opposite. The lower the number, the hotter the plug. And some brands, the higher the number, the hotter the plug. <laughs> so, it's X. Yeah, the higher the number, the hotter the plug. NGK, the lower the number, the hotter the plug. So, it's opposite. So, I thought this was like, oh, is this a colder range? No, it's a hotter range. So, it should have got a BP7 ES, but no big deal. Maybe I'll get one. But I got like five of these things. So, if I need them, I'm just going to run them. This has a removable screw top. If you take this off, there'll be threads underneath there. They make two different ones. They make one with a solid top. They make one with a removable top. Okay, so that's interesting. Two different numbers. This is like a 4007. But the 7 ES, is, which I should really got, is proper. Um, that is a totally different number. They have two different numbers. And then they got a BPR. The R stands for resistor, which this does not have. All right, let's talk about resistors now. So apparently in some of these small engines, you do not use a resistor spark plug. But there is a resistor in the spark plug boot, which is right here, spark plug boot. So I have no idea if this one has a resistor in the spark plug. No freaking idea. If it does or it doesn't, I don't know. But that's the other thing. But some people, some bozos out there on the internet, I have no idea what you're doing. They just go, yeah, we do this, you do your bed, you do your bed, you do you that, you're an asshole, I know everything. What they seem to be doing is they use a resistor boot and they re use a resistor spark plug. So now you have double resistors. I don't know about that. Uh, I believe this thing would have a resistor boot because it has electronic ignition. That's my thought. You know, if you have an older, um, small engine that has, like, a point setup, which is, like, really old, it would have a, um, whatever, a, uh, resistor and a non-resistor boot. I didn't even know they made resistor boots until a little bit, but apparently it's very common on small engines and motorcycles or whatever the hell. So that is taking up your resistor. Why would you need... Oh, that's plugs gone now. No, it's not as fun. We gotta check the, uh... Do whatever on that. These got rocked around big time in the package anyway. Hopefully they're okay. But aside from a spark plug foliage, yeah, the resistor boot. Some people have no idea. These boots, you can change them too. I didn't even know that. I don't even want to take it off again because I had it off like four times already. But I don't know what the difference is, if someone could tell me, between a resistor boot and a non-resistor boot, if there's any, um, any, like, things inside of it I don't know uh yeah screw top some you have to take the actual top off and it's just threads and then spark plug boot threads on some of them don't I'm thinking though this is a resistor boot because apparently if it's a non-resistor boot you need to screw it on with the threads or the boot oh, this will be smaller I don't know if you know let me know I might get a boot too maybe we'll get an NGK boot for like five bucks just never know spare parts man you need spare parts I like to buy like a carburetor kit and a gasket and stuff and like a valve cover gasket. You know, a lot of spare parts I would like. Um, just in case. But that's the deal with small engines. If anyone can uh, confirm this, and I'm on the right track here, let me know. This is interesting. So resistor boot, non-resistor spark plug. Some people put resistor and resistor. So you got two resistors. It's probably going to kill the spark. And then the plug's gonna file out sooner. This plug's very clean, by the way. And when I took it out, I had to go see if my threads were correct, and they are. 
Um, yeah, and that's the Chinese torch, the F7TC or something. They say to use a champion equivalent. I'm like, I don't, I hate champion. I want NGK, man. Or Denzo. So that's what I got. But yeah, I need the freaking BP7ES. AutoZone has it. They don't have the solid one, though. So this is a screw off top. This, I believe, is a screw off top as well on this Chinese one. But I'd like to buy the solid plug, but I'm probably not going to get it. Because no one has it in stock locally. And it's a ripoff buying it online. But that is that. If you know about this stuff, let me know. And yeah, it's the Honda clone. This is a Honda clone. You obsessed with generators? You know it. Here's another thing. I'll just throw this into these alternators. Yes, this is an alternator. It's not really a generator by design. It's an alternator, but that without a bridge rectifier, because a bridge rectifier, you know, in your car, is going to convert uh, AC to DC. This is pure AC. But, uh, yeah, everything's pretty much the same. They all look the same, like on all these different brands. Take this back panel off where you got a voltage regulator, and you get a brush set. That's pretty much it. If the windings are good, um, yeah, it's good. It's not cooked. So, pretty simple. Learning stuff every day. Yeah, freaking non-resistor spark plug, though. On a, um, resistor... Resistor boot, non resistor spark plug. It's actually a good comparison. Someone's testing that and they see there this uh, non resistor spark plug, the spark is a lot stronger than a resistor. You know, there's no radio on this thing. All oh, cars, too, right? Don't they have like non interference wires or something like that? Here's another thing people are complaining like hot rodders and stuff. I, I didn't even think of this, but it totally makes sense. They complain that. Uh, when you have a lower resisting, you know, like bigger spark plug wires and stuff, but you don't like upgrade like the coil or anything, you will burn the uh, distributor cap and rotor if it has one, because like there's resistance basically has to be go somewhere, so you know it's it's going to the cap. I don't know, it's burning it up if that makes any sense. It was explained a little differently than that, but basically, you know, if you have such a low resistance. It's it's somewhere in the system is going to take up the slack, and that was the uh, the cap and rotor. That made sense though, because I did have fat wires in my truck, and I was going through a lot of uh, caps and rotors, and then I put my kind of standard uh, spark plug wires on. It solved the problem, so I was probably making my own problems, and I just didn't grasp it and why it was happening. All right, so that's kind of strange. Yeah, if you know anything about that, those boots and stuff, let me know. That's interesting. That is very interesting. And I get a warranty. My, uh... Someone's going, I don't care about this. I came here for the video. I get a warranty this to Blue Point. All these things are rusting, man. Snap off subsidiary junk. They'll make that. I don't know. Good stuff for rusting. Even that red toolbox is rusting on the bottom. Minor, but rusting. I need to get touch-up paint. Another $5. Isn't that everything in life? Another five dollars, another five dollars, another fifteen hundred dollars, another fifty dollars. Uh, money ain't worth shit. All right, so that's that spark plug. I gotta get a BP seven ES. Although I will use these. You can like sell these in times of trouble. They're probably all these engines are Honda clones. So when someone's generator doesn't uh, work, it can be like a fish day, a fish day get your parts because no one else will have the parts. See, so, yeah, I was just browsing, but then I was thinking, you could tell if it's a resistor, right? If you take it off, I think it just unscrews, not sure. Then put a voltmeter, right? Lead, lead, and this one's, what, 10K, so you should get about uh, 10K, 10,000 uh, resistance, right? Hmm. Thinking. This probably would fit. How do you get that off though, the generator? I think you just unscrew it, you take the boot off, then I don't know. Never done it before.